Complete this sentence. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. So, who's St. Nicholas? That's Santa Claus's real name. That's right. To learn more, we need to go to Europe in 300 AD, just as the Roman Empire was learning about Jesus. Come on, everyone, visualize! AM No Robots. Glory. St. Nicholas was a leader in the church about 250 years after Jesus. His parents had left him with a lot of money, and to show Jesus love, Nicholas spent his life giving it away to the poor. If he heard that someone needed help, he would walk by their house at night and toss a small bag of gold coins in through their window. One story talks about three young daughters of a man who was too poor to find them good husbands. Back then you needed money to get married, and if you didn't get married, you could end up as a slave. Nicholas didn't want that to happen to these girls, so he secretly tossed gold coins in through their window to pay for their marriages. According to the story, the gold coins landed in the girls' shoes or stockings they'd set out to dry by the fire. Wait, stockings hung by the fire? This is sounding familiar. Exactly. Have you ever gotten gold coins in your Christmas stocking? Indeed I have, with chocolate inside. That's because of St. Nicholas. Another version of that story says St. Nicholas dropped three gold balls in through the window. Have you ever gotten a shiny orange in your stocking? I did. We always got oranges in our stockings. Another symbol of St. Nicholas. But there's more. Do you know what a pawn shop is? I sure do. I was flat broke one time, so a pawn shop gave me some money in exchange for my guitar. When I could pay them back, they gave me my guitar back. That's right. Pawn shops help people by letting them trade things for money. What's that have to do with St. Nicholas? The symbol of pawn shops everywhere is three gold balls. The gold balls that Nicholas gave to help the three sisters. Oh my goodness, St. Nicholas is all over the place. So how did he turn into Santa Claus? Well, the stories of kind St. Nicholas helping children spread throughout Europe. Eventually, the church gave him his own holiday, St. Nicholas Day, on December 6th. Soon, kids all over Europe were setting out shoes and stockings by the fireplace or by windows the night before St. Nicholas Day, hoping that he would visit and leave behind some candy or toys. Wait, they did that on December 6th? Right, St. Nicholas Day. Stories of St. Nicholas came to America with Dutch and German settlers. Only in Dutch, St. Nicholas was called Sinterklaas. And in German, he was called St. Nicholas. Sinterklaas? St. Nicholas? That's right, St. Nicholas. Say those names fast. Sinterklaas, St. Nicholas. Sinterklaas, St. Nicholas. Sinterklaas, St. Nicholas. Sinterklaas, St. Nicholas. Santa Claus! That's right. Over time, those names blended together and became Santa Claus. What do you know? Santa Claus really is Saint Nicholas. You bet your pippy. I'm a fan of Santa Claus. He's my man and why? Because underneath is Saint Nicholas, a guy who loved like Jesus. Nicholas was wealthy, sure. Used his wealth to help the poor Gave and gave and gave some more A guy who loved like Jesus More like Saint Nick we would be If we gave more generously Then he does the world would see Folks who love like Jesus that Nicholas was an amazing guy. I'm going to write a whole popsicle stick a puppet show about him. That's a great idea. You see, Christmas in America is a little confusing because it's actually a combination of two different church holidays from Europe. We have Christ Mass on December 25th when churches celebrate Jesus' birthday. And St. Nicholas Day on December 6th when churches celebrate a great guy who loved Jesus very much. Whoa, they got all mushed together. So we celebrate Jesus' birthday. And we also hang up stockings and wait for St. Nicholas, who we call Santa Claus, all on December 25th. Thanks to American TV shows and movies, 
The mushed up Christmas has been spreading around the world, and now people are calling St. Nicholas Santa Claus almost everywhere. They're starting to forget about poor old St. Nick. Oh no, don't forget about St. Nicholas. He's what Santa Claus is all about. Right, sharing the love of Jesus by helping the poor. Hey, is that why you see people dressed as Santa in front of stores collecting money for the poor? That's exactly why. Those people are helping the Salvation Army, a group of Christians that help the poor all over the world, just like St. Nicholas. That's amazing. But see if you can answer this one, Mr. Smarty Monkey. Why is Santa always wearing a red suit lined with white fur? Oh yes, I know that one too. You see, St. Nicholas was a bishop in the church. That means he was the leader of all the churches in his area. Bishops wore red robes and red hats. St. Nicholas was most popular in Northern Europe. It was very cold on St. Nicholas Day. So pictures of St. Nicholas visiting Northern Europe on December 6th show him wearing a red robe and hat, all lined with white fur to keep him warm while he delivers his presents to kids. And that's why Santa is always wearing a red suit with white fur. Well, you just know everything, don't you? What? Why do we stop? This next part is going to be tricky. Oh dear. Hang on!